Hello guys, welcome to my channel PyLearning. If you are a Python developer, Python enthusiast or someone who is curious to know more about Python programming, consider subscribing. Today we are going to talk about yet another important aspect of data engineering, Google Sheets. Google Sheets is basically the Google version of Microsoft Excel. Therefore it is very useful to store and analyze data. Today we will talk all about reading and writing data from Google Sheets using Python. Now this video has been divided into multiple sections. Each section is equally important. I would highly recommend you to go through every section. However, if you feel that you only want to look at one particular section, then go down to the description where you will find timestamp for every particular section that is important. You can click on it and continue directly from there. So now before we start accessing data from Google Sheets using Python, we have to satisfy two requirements. The first is enabling Google Sheets API in the Google Con APIs console. And the second is downloading relevant libraries that we are going to use to access data from Google Sheets using Python. So first let's go ahead and satisfy these requirements. Go ahead to console.developers.google.com and press on create project. Now press create again. Now give an appropriate project name. I'll say PyLenin test 1992 and then press create. Let's wait for our project to be created. So now while we are waiting for the project to be created, after this process, we are going to go to Google Sheets API and enable it, right? So here in the dashboard, click on enable APIs and services. Once you are here, welcome to the new API library. Enter Google Sheets. Here is the Google Sheets API option. Click on it and here click on enable. So now we are basically enabling the Google Sheets API so that we can access the API and get data from the Google Sheets. Here in the credentials section, now your API has been enabled and now we have to create the credentials. So basically the client secret key and the access key so that uh, we can uh, easily access Google Sheets from our developer environment. So click on create credentials. And then uh, it will ask you some things like which API are you, are you using? Yeah, just say Google Sheets API. Then where will you be calling the API from? Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, I, I would say web server. Uh, what data will you be accessing? Application data. Are you planning to use this API with app engine or compute engine? No, I'm not using them. Then press on what credentials do I need? So basically, uh, it will ask you to create a service account here. Create, uh, let's uh, create a service account. I'll call PyLenin and then I want my key in JSON because it would be easier for me to access a JSON file, read a JSON file from Python. So let's press continue and see what happens. So it is asking service account has no role and it is asking me to select a role uh, for my Google Sheets API. So I can go ahead and I can give myself the owner role, right? Because it's mine, uh, it's my API and I'll give it the owner role. And now basically, uh, so see, service account and key created. So basically, uh, this is the JSON file which has all the credentials that are necessary to read data from Google Sheets. To so now I'm in my project folder and I've also copied the JSON file that was created from the uh, developers console and I'll copy this to our project folder so it is easier to read. So here I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste and make sure open co copy in editor is uh, unchecked. Uh, we don't need to open it. Uh, make sure no one sees that JSON file because it has all the credentials. So if someone gets hold of it, they can easily access your uh, your information. 
so be careful about it i'm going to press okay and now you can see this json file has been copied to my project folder now if you are using pycharm let me show you a way in which you can download libraries without doing pip install on your command line go to preferences in file and here on the bottom left corner you will see a plus sign click on it and then you can search for the packages that you want to download here so now i want to look for gspread this is the package and i'm going to press on install package package gspread installed successfully similarly i will also look for oauth2 client this is the package we want and now i'm going to download it as well so guys now that we have fulfilled all the requirements let's go ahead and start coding now i have opened my script editor and i have copied my json file that i got from console the google console apis now you can see that I have changed the name from that big letter uh, which had lot of characters and special characters to a simple credentials.json no special reason it's just easier to read with a, such a simpler name so now let's go ahead and import gspread so gspread is the library that we just downloaded and then i can also import from oauth to client dot service underscore account import service account credentials method now this method is basically going to help us set up the client that is going to interact with google sheets api to get and update the relevant data so now let's go ahead and uh, do some more coding now before we start doing it uh, we have to define a scope now what is a scope scope is basically the way in which you want to interact with google sheets api so here I have already opened the Google Sheets uh, API uh, URL uh, on Chrome and here you can see the scope has been defined. So basically uh, there are a lot of scopes defined here. One is for only read only access, the other is for read write access, the other is for full permissive scope to access all of a user's file. So basically admin access. We are going to use this scope. So basically we want the entire admin access. To, uh, to talk to Google Sheets API to get data, update data, basically do everything, right? So I can copy this and go back to my code and here I can define the scope variable and uh, uh, it has to be defined as a list and I can copy, uh, paste the scope here. Now we have defined the scope. Now let's define the credentials, right? We have to, uh, we already have the JSON file. We are going to read the JSON file using this method. And then uh, we are going, uh, this method is going to create a credentials that can be used in the OAuth2 authentication. Now, if you're wondering what is OAuth2 authentication, it's basically an authentication protocol in which two applications can talk to each other without sharing any password. I'm going to make a video on OAuth2 very soon and I'll let you guys know if you want to know about OAuth2, OAuth2 authentication in more details. So here I can say credentials equal to service account credentials dot then uh, PyCharm already gives me all the uh, uh, methods that I can use with it. So I am going to say from JSON, uh, JSON key file name. I'm going to use this method basically because I already have the JSON file and I'm just going to read it. So I'll pass the name of the file credentials.json. This is also another, this is the reason why I actually changed the name from that horrible name to credentials.json. It's just more readable. And we are also going to pass in the scope, right? Let's make this more readable because it's uh, too big line and I, uh, my font is too big because I have to record it. So this is our credentials basically. Now using these credentials, we are going to create a client. The client is going to talk to Google Sheets API. So I can say client equal to G spread. And we are going to use the authorize method uh, in the G spread library. And then we are going to pass the credentials. That's it. This is all you need to create a client that can talk to Google Sheets API. Let's go ahead and read some data.
for this purpose you can already see i have created a trial spreadsheet in my google drive account and i have put some random data inside it nothing special we just want to play with the data now we can go to our uh, our script editor and i can define a variable called sheet this is basically going to contain all the data of our google spread, uh, spreadsheet so i can say sheet equal to client dot open then the uh, name of the spreadsheet the name of the spreadsheet is trial spreadsheet now make sure uh, take care of case cases because this is case sensitive so i have to write it down exactly the way it is now if i put uh, this s capital the uh, it's uh, the code is going to fail so uh, please take care of it and then i can say dot sheet 1 now why dot sheet 1 basically it will always refer to the sheet 1 workspace of this google spreadsheet so basically uh, this is a spreadsheet uh, google uh, google sheets and every sheet will have multiple sheets right every workspace will have multiple sheets sheet 1 till sheet 10 what happens is people usually rename their sheets uh, according to the kind of data that is there so it kind of makes it difficult and tedious to actually write, write down the sheet name every time you read data it's very tedious so you can just mention sheet 1 and no matter what the name of the sheet is in your workspace python is going to read the first sheet so this is very convenient so then i can say data equal to sheet dot get all records let's just say let's just get all the records right there are like four or five rows let's just say uh, let's just get all the records and then i can print the data let's go ahead and run this and see what happens so here you can see python returned us a list which has dictionaries inside is inside it uh, 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 containing the data so here you can see uh, uh, python automatically the gspread library library automatically considers this as the column row so and these are the values inside the column so here you can see the key of every dictionary is the column name a value 1 uh, and then b value 2 similarly next row is uh, for column a value is 3 uh, for column b value is 4 for the third row for column a value is 5 for column b value is 6 so this is how basically you can read data from google uh, google sheets using this gspread api now let's go ahead and uh, uh, navigate a little bit more how we can use gspread to our own requirements right so i can say uh, let's say I just want to read the row values. So how am I going to do it? To read the row values, I can say instead of sheet dot get all records, I can say row underscore values. And let's say I want to get the row values of the first row, right? So if I run this code, Python is going to return me the column rows basically. So this this basically returns a list containing all the data. Uh, from the list uh, from the row number that we have mentioned so let's say i uh, say 3 python will return us the data present in the third row so 3 comma 4 but no column names are mentioned here so keep it in mind right similarly if i want to read the column values i can say call underscore values and then i can pass in the first uh, the column the column uh, number that i want to read data from so if I pass in the column number 1, Python is going to return me A135. Let's go ahead and check. So in the column 1, first column, we actually see A1, 3 and 5. So this is basically different ways of reading data for our, for our own requirement. So now we learnt about reading data. How about writing data to Google Sheets? Can we update data that is already there? Can we insert data? Yes, we can. So let's go ahead and see some uh, see how we can update and insert data in Google Sheets from Python, right? So here I will remove this print and data and all that thing. And here I can say, let's say we want to update a uh, update a row, right? So I can say uh, sheet. Uh, I can call the sheet here sheet dot update update cell, and then I can say uh, let's say I want to update basically the second row uh, uh, the second row uh, and the uh, let's say I, I uh, let's update the second row of the first column right so I can say I can go here 
and I can say you see uh, PyCharm is actually telling me that I have to first give the row number so I'll say second row two and then the column number I'll say one and then I will say uh, the value should be hello let's just put some random data in it right so if I run this script great process finit finished with exit code zero and here you can see in our trial spreadsheet we already have the hello uh, in that cell so this is basically how you would update data in Google Sheets from Python using the client that we created. Now, let's say we want to insert a record, right? So how can we insert a record? So here I can say, let's define some data first that we want to insert, right? So I can say row equal to, uh, let's just say, yeah, I'll just insert my name, right? No offense, sorry. Uh, I don't know who all are watching, so I'm just gonna insert my name. I can say row uh, Lenin Mishra, Lenin comma Mishra, two, uh, two values because we have two columns. And then I can say, uh, I have to define something called index. Now what is an index? Index, think of index as the row number. The row number in which this value will be inserted. So if you insert the value after all the data, okay, uh, the you will see a new row there uh, with the new values. However, if you uh, try to use an index, of a, uh, or, or a row number which is already there then these values will get inserted in that row and all the values from that row will go uh, one row down basically i'll show you what i mean so let's say uh, we say we are we want to uh, insert it in row number two right so then i can say uh, we don't need uh, yeah it's okay uh, we don't need this anymore because it's already there we already updated it and then i can say here sheet dot insert row and then i can say row i can pass in the row parameter uh, the value parameter basically in in this case this is the row uh, variable and then i can pass in the index right so let's just run this and see what happens great uh, code ran successfully and here you can see in the second row uh, lenin uh, 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 we have the values Lenin and Mishra, right? And all the values, these values were st uh, starting from the second row and were going until the fourth row, right? But now the all the values got one row down and basically the new values were uh, inserted into the Google spreadsheet using our uh, method. So guys, today we learned about reading and writing data from Google Sheets using Python. If you like the video, Make sure to share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel to get instant notification of all my published videos. In the next video, we are going to talk about yet another important aspect of data engineering, structured query language, SQL basically. So guys, keep watching.